Hello! Today we're going to do a review of the, the Enchanted Map Oracle. Here's the box, the Enchanted Map Oracle deck. I'm not going to do um, a full review that goes through all the cards because there are some people who've done excellent reviews like that on YouTube. You can just do a search for the Enchanted Oracle Map and um, some wonderful reviews will come up. So this is just kind of my personal experience with the deck. Um, you can also see, I'm going to show you some close-ups of images, but you can also um, Google the Enchanted Map, and uh, Google will bring up a bunch of images for you so you can see some of the cards a little closer. This is the box that it comes in right here. Very sturdy box, good for housing the cards for a long time to come. I just have this standard um, deck sitting here so you can compare size. This is the backing of the cards, the backing of the cards, and this is just some examples of the various cards. Um, and, uh, you know, this, this deck can be um, used in reverse. The book, which I'll show you in a minute, does have reversed meanings. But there, uh, there are a variety of cards, um, it, so you don't have to use reverse meanings if you don't want to. You don't have to use reversed cards. You can use them in the upright position. And, um, you know, things that have negative connotations or negative images, like this has a, a green tornado, it looks like, twister, coming through. It's called the storm fields. Um, and, you know, actually you can get positive and negative um, readings out of that card, even in the upright position, you know, either way. Um, I find that this deck has the wonderful images allow for very intuitive readings. You don't have to read the guidebook. You can have a relationship with each card. You can look and glean a lot from each card um, in a reading just by looking at the images there. They're quite wonderful. Um, really my favorite part of working with this deck is that most of the images provide you with a lot to hold on to, a lot to grab on to and interpret. Um, oh, and another thing I was going to say is that when I do readings for this, it's very interesting that these cards will sometimes give kind of um, opposing aspects of character. It's something that I, I really like about this deck is uh, that you might get things that appear to be contradictions. Um, and yet, you know, they, they do bring out the dichotomies that are natural in situations and personalities, things that we need to work on to bring together or make choices. Um, so I like this deck... Um, a lot for uh, career type. You can do general readings, but career type readings or career path type readings um, are also useful. This deck is very useful for that. Let me show you the, the guidebook. This is the book that it comes with. It's actually fairly hefty, um, but it's small. The card meanings, I think, are more than adequately explained. Again, especially with this deck, I don't feel the need for a lot of reference. I do reference it on occasion, but I don't feel the need for a lot of referencing of the guidebook. And you can see it does have reverse meanings if you want to use them. And I'm going to show you a little up close so you can see what I mean by some of these cards in there meanings. So this is balancing act, but you almost don't need that down there. I mean, look at that. You've got hearts streaming off. You've got this ship coming in. So her ship is coming in. And I love that, um, <laughs> that the visual representation of that uh, idiom, that saying. And you can see, though, that it's coming in on a string in a bubble. Okay, so it's a very fragile operation going on here, and she's just having to make very careful adjustments to get it to continue to come her way. So, um, I just, uh, I love how evocative these images are. And this card, Rescue, again, you can see you have to be out there. She's on an island, isolated, you have to be out there 
saying that you need help and here's the, the person in the balloon who could pass you right by if you don't um, let somebody know that you need rescuing. So actually a lot of this is, is about um, declaring your needs. And here's one. It's called um, One Ring Circus. But again, I actually don't pay too much attention to that. I can't. I have to say that I don't particularly like that um, keywords for those for that card, that name for that card. Um, and this is me being an older person that's just wanting to assign my own meanings to cards. Is when I look at this um, in the in the guidebook, it says um, something to the effect of independence. Well, to me, independence is a very positive thing. But in this particular card, independence to me, is not. Um, it's not. This is putting yourself in a position where you can't go anywhere. And if you look, the woman has a kind of a confused look on her face. And the elephant, and I love the elephants on this deck, there's there only about three, but I love them, is kind of, he's got his little trunk up there, and he's kind of inquiring. So, so what are we doing here, anyway? What are, what's this all about? So, it is also about... Um, kind of isolating yourself from your own strength, actually. Here's another one. Okay, intention. So this is one egg, and this card does have others where there's more than one uh, egg actually resting on the ground. So the fact that this egg is on a pedestal is actually significant. So one egg, seeds. You see all of these plants here are kind of either St. John's wort or or dandelion in seed, so it's the treasured seed, the intention that's being nur nurtured here. Here's one of those really positive, coming together, sweet cards with the images of the giraffes. No idea why there's a pelican up there, but I don't care. It's just sweet. The Golden Palace, yes. The Golden Palace is where you want to arrive. And again, such wonderful imagery here with the um, old trees growing up so this palace has roots and it's also on elevated ground. Um, so again just love these images. Love these images. Doesn't that look like a good time? Yep. Go with the flow. Home and belonging. Okay. Again crossroads, choices, Again, very evocative images. Neither one of these is necessarily better or worse. In fact, neither of them look particularly appealing, if you ask me. But um, that would be something for the querent to consider. The wishing well. Okay. So I think that's about all that I have to say about this deck. Um, certainly no regrets purchasing it. I felt an immediate connection. In fact, I absolutely had to go ahead and start working with it. I just had to pull it out and shuffle it and drew and draw some cards. Um, I will say this. The the cardstock let me get this a bunch of it. Cardstock is very heavy. Okay, and they have this gilding. I had to actually separate each card when I got it. Um, they're very they're not very conducive to shuffling. I've worked with them a little bit so they've softened up a little bit. Um, and I have weak hands from tendonitis. Um, so I do, I tend to do a loose sideways shuffle or a corner shuffle with them. Um, so not impossible and well worth it considering the cards. Um, and that's about it.